Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amanda for anyone that's new here. In today's video, I was actually going to make this a after dark clean with me, but I think I'm gonna turn this into a after work, after dark clean with me. So it is about 5.40. Um, I just got home about 10 minutes ago and I called Mark when I got off and he is going to be running late. So kitchen is not, um, I mean, it's kind of messy. I probably have more dishes in the sink than I'd like. But yeah, kitchen's not that bad. I still have cleaning supplies out from one of my last videos. Um, kitchen isn't that bad, so I was going to do, I was bouncing back and forth between doing like a power hour tonight um, or like an after dark clean with me, but because he's gonna be running a little bit late today, um, I figure I had enough time to, um, I need to start dinner, so I gotta put some rice in the crock pot today. We're having like, um, I say like an um a lot. <laughs> Today, um, like, we're having a beef bowl. If anybody doesn't know the app called All Recipes, um, I don't know if anybody actually doesn't know that app yet, but there's a recipe that we use called All Recipes, and I get all of my, well, not all of my, but most of my recipes there. So if anybody's looking for something new to try, um, I would definitely, um, God, I say um a lot. I definitely would download the All Recipes app. I've been using that for years, but tonight I'm gonna be making a beef bowl. It's really easy. I have some ground beef defrosting right there, but I do need to throw the rice in. So I figure the rice takes about 45 minutes. The beef is super easy. It takes maybe like 10 minutes, but since Mark's running late, I have some time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the kitchen as much as possible now while I'm kind of cooking dinner while the rice is cooking and I'm gonna clean a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. And then I'm probably gonna be pausing for a bit because Emma is doing something at school this evening after school. Well, she's there now, but we gotta go back and pick her up. So maybe when I get back from that, I will pick up from where I left off if I'm not too tired. But yeah, so after work, after dark, clean with me. Let's get going. I used to think I had plenty. My glass was half empty But you came along and showed me how To love with our limits To have a good time My glass was always half empty But now you're in my life We're far away from the city lights So small So normally if I am cooking or cleaning in the kitchen, Marley is somewhere in there hanging out with me more so if I'm cooking because if I'm making anything with cheese or if I'm making the shake where I put carrots and bananas in there, I'll usually throw her some. Those are her three favorite snacks, but she's such a little cutie butt and she loves to hang out with me. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner right now on this Korean ground beef bowl. Again, it's very easy, probably maybe 10 to 15 minutes from start to finish, about five to seven ingredients. And if you guys are like stuck in a rut where you cook the same things over and over, I highly recommend downloading all recipes because you can search by um, time if you want something like crock pot or 30 minutes or an hour or you can search by protein chicken or beef um, you can search by a vegetable so any 
anything you want you can find on here and then you can save the recipes that you like so i really love this app i definitely recommend trying it if you guys want to search for new meals for you and your family All right, so this does not look like much right now. I know it just looks like a pan of ground beef, but really once it's all done and you put on the rice and you garnish it with, you know, your green onions and I think Mark puts like um, pickled ginger on there. It's really, really delicious. And again, no dinner of ours would be complete without a shake. We make this every night. I do um, frozen cherry tomatoes, berries, strawberries, carrots, spinach, orange juice, um, chia seeds and matcha powder and a banana. We have this with every single meal and I like it because I know we get our fruits and vegetables for the day. I really thought we had it covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, na, na, na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Hey guys, okay, so this may or may not be a day or two or more later than when I first started filming the last clip that you just saw and that may or may not be the same laundry and towels that I started folding a couple days ago when you first saw me. Um, but yeah, so I did not get to finish what I wanted to finish that night. Um, we went to go pick up Emma from school and then I just got home, I was too tired and the next day I didn't feel like it and maybe the day after that so yeah so we've got some laundry that is still piled up on the couch um i think i actually added a load of towels or whites to that i don't remember and then still have towels that were sitting there a couple days ago so yeah we're gonna get this folded um it's about 8 30 right now um i'm gonna see what i can get done tonight because it was a long day today I uh, haven't been feeling that great, so I've just been coming home very exhausted, very tired. So I'm going to see if I can get this laundry at least folded. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get it put away today, but if I can get it separated into like towels folding and whites and stuff like that, maybe I could just get something done tonight. But you know, sometimes you can't get it done all in the day that you think you want to. It might spread out over a couple days or even a week, so whatever. But I'm going to get what I can done today, so let's get going. It all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of 
I know myself all too well, but at the same time, I didn't want to say anything and jinx it. But typically when I tell myself I'm going to do like all this cleaning, all this laundry, I'm going to, I'm going to work out all crazy. I actually get tired before I even start what I'm doing. And then I don't even do it. But when I tell myself, Hey, just do a little bit, you know, just do this, just clean for like five minutes or 10 minutes. Um, you know, just do like a five or 10 minute workout. Same thing. I actually end up doing more than what I tell myself. So I think tonight that's what I was like thinking I was telling myself like, hey, if you just get the clothes separated, you're good. You're going to be set for tomorrow. But then once I actually started and found a rhythm, I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm more awake now. And I just kept going. I wanted to put the laundry away. And then, you know, I just, you know, I don't know if you guys are like that too, but I just get this burst of energy and I'm like, let me just get this finished. I always tell myself, I say my tomorrow self is going to thank my today self for any extra that I do. And in that moment, like I said, I just had more energy and I was just like on this drive to just get everything done. So I was like, I'm just gonna put the laundry away. And you know, if anything else I get done tonight, it's a bonus, but I just, I kept on going and I was on a roll.
So after I was done putting the laundry away, I told myself, hey, you know, you're still good. Let's just keep going. Um, this is our upstairs guest bathroom. So Emma has her restroom. Um, we have our restroom. And like I said, I wasn't feeling too great this week. So I was using the guest bathroom just to kind of stay separate from Mark when we were getting ready, not to be in like such a small space together, you know, just to be safe, especially with everything going around and going on these days. Um, so again, we don't use this restroom that often, so it doesn't get that dirty, but I was feeling better and I was using our restroom again. So I told myself like, Hey, just take, you know, 10, 15 minutes to clean this restroom up, put your stuff away. So that's what I'm doing here. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this also i was using the da the jaws shower cleaner a few weeks ago and i guess like maybe it had dripped on the side of the bottle and i didn't realize it and wipe it down and i left it here for a couple days and it made this weird ring that um i just noticed i'm going to try to get it off today with some scrub daddy power paste but yeah i couldn't just get it off with like a regular cleaner or wiping it so that was a little frustrating but here i am just cleaning the countertop with some wipes again because we don't use this bathroom that often um if i'm being honest it probably doesn't get clean that often either so i noticed this really disgusting ring in the sink that i wanted to use my rubbermaid power scrub brush on i really love this tool and i love this clorox um, Sentiva cleaner. It smells like coconut and coconut is one of my favorite smells. So again, I'm just using the Rubbermaid power scrubber. This is a really great all around tool. Um, I use it to clean my sinks. I use it to clean the grout on our floors and our bathroom. So if you guys don't have this tool, I would highly recommend it. I've actually seen other brush head um, attachments for it online that I'm interested to get. But yeah, if you guys don't have this tool, I would rec recommend it. It's like 20 bucks at Target. And I mean, you can use it for almost anything. But yeah, I was trying to get this really gross ring off and it did come off for the most part with this tool. So I was happy about that. Sit beside you 
While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I was so happy because I've seen other videos of people where their toilets, um, the back of it clicks off so easily and I had no idea that my toilet did that. I know the one in our bathroom and Emma's bathroom does not do that but the one up here did it and it was like, like the best thing in the world to me when I figured out that it did that. you guys so i think that's going to be it for today's video thank you as always so much for spending this time with me taking your time to watch my videos i really do appreciate it and again for me i was supposed to film this whole video in one day and i filmed it over the course of two days but those two days were like a couple of days apart so don't ever be hard on yourself if you don't get everything done the day you think you want to or don't be hard on yourself for not getting everything on your list done you know we are all human we can only do so much so just do what you can when you can how you can whenever you can and yeah but again i appreciate you guys so much for spending this time with me and i hope you guys all have a amazing rest of your day and till next time bye